Hi everyone and welcome to the Maths Man YouTube channel. In this video today we are going to be doing a complete guide to rounding in maths. Um, we're going to be talking about what rounding is and where we might use it. We're then going to go on to looking at some examples of how you can round to the nearest 10, how you can round to the nearest 100, how you can round to the nearest 1000 and then the video is going to finish with rounding decimals to the nearest whole number and to the nearest tenth. But before we get started, if you are new here, then I would appreciate it if you smash that like button and maybe consider subscribing. We're currently at 4,000 subscribers and we're trying to get to 10 as quickly as possible and we'd really appreciate it if you would help out the channel. So first of all, what is rounding? So rounding is a math skill that we use in everyday life and here's a prime example of where you might use rounding so if i go to the shop and i'm buying something for nine pound 83 okay and i'm paying with cash it's very unlikely that i will have nine pound 83 in my pocket that i can give them one by one okay so what i would do there is i would use my rounding skills to give the person 10 pound and then they would give me the change and that is an example of where I have taken a number and I have rounded it to a larger number so that I have enough money. So in this first example, we are going to be rounding 73 to the nearest 10. So the number 73 has seven in the tens column and it has three in the units column. Now, because we're rounding to the nearest 10, the only number that I'm interested in at the moment is the number that is in the tens column. Okay, now if I'm rounding to the nearest 10, that means that it's either going to stay a seven, and that seven means 70, or I'm going to round it to 80, okay, which would be the next number up. Okay, so here's a number line of 70 to 80, and 73 would be about here on that line, 73. Now, when I use a number line, we can clearly see that 73 is closer to 70 than it is to 80. So if I was rounding 73 to the nearest 10, the answer would be 70. OK, but what if I didn't use a number line? How would I round that number to the nearest 10? That's where we look at the unit. So the unit is a three, okay? And we have this rule when rounding, okay? And here is the rule here. So if the unit is a zero, a one, a two, a three, or a four, we round down. So round down to 70. If the unit is a five, a six, a seven, an eight, or a nine, then we would round up to 80. Okay, so in this example, the unit is a three. So I would round down to 70. So in the next example, I've got 65. So in the tens column, I have a six, which means 60. And I have a five in the units column. So I can do the, I can do the number line if I want to. So the lowest number it could be if I'm rounding to the nearest 10 would be 60, okay? Or the next number would be 70. Now, if I put 65, that is slap bang in the middle. So it's just as close to 60 as it is to 70. But if I use the rule that I talked about earlier, okay, I can see that if I take a look at the unit, that's the important number. If the unit is a five, a six, a seven, an eight, or a nine, then we have this rule in maths that we must round up. So 65 would be rounded to 70. Now let's move on to looking at how to round to the nearest 100. So in this next example, we have a three digit number. We have 316 and we're going to try and round that number to the nearest 100 this time. So the numbers that I'm going to be looking at are going to be different 
to the numbers that I would look at if I was rounding to the nearest 10. So at this time, because I'm rounding to the nearest 100, the important number is the one that is in the 100s column, in the 100s column. So it's a 3. So that means that the answer is either going to be 300 or it's going to be the next 100, which would be 400. Now, 316 on this number line probably falls about there. And by using a number line, I can clearly see that 316 is closer to 300. OK, so the answer would be 300. Now, if I was working that out without a number line, the important number to look at this time would not be the unit. We're not interested at all in the unit. We're interested in the 10. So the 10 is a 1. And this is where we would look at the rule. OK, so because the 10 is a 1, that means it is a 0, 1, 2, 3. So that means we would round down. So we would round the 100 down to 300. Now, this example is a little trickier because we actually have a four digit number, but we're still going to be rounding to the nearest 100. So we have 5,621. So I'm going to be looking at the 100 column and the answers are either going to be 5,600 or the answer is going to be 5,700. So I can now put that on my number line. 5,600. 5,700. Notice that I didn't even take notice of the, the thousand number. I'm not interested in that at all because I'm rounding to the nearest 100. So I've got 5,600, 5,700. So on this number line, this number would fall about here, 5,621. And I, again, I can clearly see that it is closer to 5,600. Now, just as before, when we're rounding to the nearest 100, we look at the 10, OK, which is a 2. And a 2 means to round down. So we would round the number down to 5,600. So the number has got smaller to 5,600. So in this example, we're now going to be looking at rounding to the nearest 1,000. So I'm going to be interested in the thousands column now, and it's a six. So the two answers that I could get is either 6,000, or the answer could be 7,000. Okay, notice that when I round it, all the other numbers just change to zeros. So we've either got 6,000 or 7,000. So I'm going to put that on my number line. 6,000, 7,000. And if I put 6,872, that's probably about here. And I can see that it is closest to 7,000. So this number would be rounding up. Now, if you didn't want to use the number line to round to the nearest thousand, you look at the hundreds column. OK, and the hundreds column is showing an eight. So I don't care what the tens and the units column show. It's just the hundreds column. So it's showing an eight. And as I can see here, if it is a five, a six, a seven, an eight or a nine, I round up. So I would round the number up, I would make it bigger, and it would turn it into 7,000. So in the final part of this video, we are going to be looking at rounding decimals to the nearest whole number and to the nearest tenth. So we're going to start with rounding 3.89 to the nearest whole number. Now when it says whole number, we're talking about the units. So if I'm rounding this to the nearest whole number, my answer is either going to be 3 or it's going to be 4. OK, now I could do the number line if I want to. That helps some people. So 3 or 4 and 
would fit about here on my number line and I can see that it is closer to four so I'm going to be rounding up here but if I didn't want to use the number line okay I always look at the next lowest um, column so it would be the tenths column so the tenths column is showing as an eight and again with the rule five six seven eight nine we would round up so it wouldn't be the eight that's going up it would be the unit so we're changing the three into a four and then we're wiping off uh, the, the the lower numbers so 3.89 rounds up to the nearest whole number to four okay now what we're going to do is we're going to round the same number but this time we're going to round it to the nearest tenth okay so the nearest tenth so it's this eight here because we have the units the tenths and the hundredths so the answer the two answers i could possibly get is either going to be 3.8 or the answer is going to be 3.9 okay so 3.89 rounded to the nearest tenth is going to be 3.8 3.9 now i'm not going to do the number line this time i'm going to be looking at the next number so 3.89 i'm going to be looking at this number next to it which is a nine and as we can see with our rule if it's a nine we round up so that would mean the answer would be 3.9 so just to finish this video, I'm going to put one question on the board. Okay, and what I'd like you to do is I would like you to write in the comment section down below uh, the answer just to test yourself and I will check it for you. So if we have 4,318, I would like you to round that number to the nearest 100. Okay, and then we're going to have... Um, 563 and I would like you to round that number to the nearest 10 and then how about 4.85 and I'd like you to round that to the nearest whole number thanks again for watching and I hope you have learned something if you have then don't forget to smash that like button and consider subscribing to the best YouTube maths channel on the planet.